Hey everyone, it's Brian, and we have a question today. Will I need a line side tap? Will I need to do a line side tap, or can I just use a PV breaker in this main service panel? So let's evaluate this question. I did do a, a separate video on this exact question, but it was a little bit different. And so I'm going to address this question directly. Hopefully it will be a little bit better video for you. So the question again, will I need to do a line side tap or can I do a, just a regular uh, solar breaker? Okay, so let's look at the main service panel. Okay, the main service electrical panel has a bus bar rating of 125 amps. That means there's a big metal bar that all these breakers fit onto and at the top there's a big main circuit breaker, okay? That bar, the metal bar itself is rated 125 amps, okay? And that big switch at the top is called a main circuit breaker, call it MCB, that is rated 100 amps, okay? And then these are the lines coming in from the street or overhead. Okay, so that metal bar is rated 125 amps, and that uh, switch at the top, the big breaker is, or main circuit breaker, is rated 100 amps. So the rule of thumb, it's a, called the 120% rule. I'll do it over here. You're allowed to go up to 120% of this bus bar rating. So 120% times the bus bar rating, okay? So 1.2 times 125. I have a calculator right here. So 125 amp bus bar rating times 120%. We're allowed to go up to 150 amps, okay? That's 150 amps. You're allowed to go up to... That is including both the main circuit breaker and a solar breaker, okay? So 125 amps times 120% equals 150 amps, okay? Everything, ha the solar breaker and the main circuit breaker both have to be under 150 amps. So we already know we have a main circuit breaker of 100 amps. We subtract that out. And we're left with 50 amps that we're allowed to have for the solar before having to do a line side tap. Okay, We're allowed to put 50 amps of PV solar, photovoltaic solar, into this bus bar. Okay, So how much, so how much, how many amps is this inverter going to kick out? This inverter is the SE3000H-US inverter. It's a Solar Edge SE3000H-US inverter. We want to know what its output is. So the output of that has to be lower than 50 amps. Okay, just to make sure you understand. So let's check out on the data sheet what the output of this Solar Edge SE. 3000H-US inverter is. I have happen to have the data sheet right here. Here's the data sheet. Let's zoom in. Here's all of the solar edge inverters. If my computer works correctly. It's a little slow. It's actually getting a little slow. Okay, let me do this a different way here. Okay, it's a little slow. I have to make this video again. Okay, here we go. 
Finally, here is the data sheet for the SE3000H-US inverter. There it is. These are all of the inverters made by SolarEdge, the HD wave inverters. But let's zoom in here to the SE3000H-US inverter. And we can see here the output of the SE3000H-US inverter the maximum continuous output current at 240 volts, which is our service coming in, is 240 volts, not 208 volts. Our output, maximum continuous output current is 12.5 amps. So the SE3000H-US outputs 12.5 amps, okay, which is under the 50 that we're allowed. However, what the National Electric Code makes you do is multiply by a safety factor. Okay, so we have 12.5 amps. You have to multiply that output on the data sheet by 125% as a safety factor. So 12.5 times 1.25, and that equals 15.625 amps, or 15.6 amps. Okay, so it's as if this inverter is outputting 15.6 amps. Okay, so for this inverter, we will need a breaker larger than 15.625 amps. The next highest breaker size is 20 amps, so we will need a 20 amp breaker for this solar PV. Can we do this? Let's go back to our checklist. I think this will come up. Okay, so now we have the output is is as if it's 15.63 amps. Okay, so we will need a 20 amp breaker. Can we do this? Can we have a 20 amp PV breaker for our PV? Yes, because we already calculated down here that we're allowed to have up to 50 amps. So a 20 amp PV breaker will work very well. So we do not need to do a line side tap. The only time we would need to do a line side tap is if we were over this 50 amps down here. Okay? If we were over this 50 amps, say we were using one of these other break of the, of these other inverters. Let's check out one of these other inverters here. Okay. My computer is working with me properly here. I think it's slow because I'm also doing a screen recording. Oh, my patience is running low. So if you look the output of a SE10,000H US is 42 amps. So I just happen to know that off the top of my head. You can check that data sheet for yourself. But say on that data sheet it says 42 amps for an SE10,000H US inverter. So 42 times 1.25 equals 52.5 amps. Would you be allowed to use this inverter on this main service panel? The answer is no, because you are over the 50 amps you're allowed. Okay? So you would need to do a line side tap in that case and tap into the lines coming from the street. Let's see if this data sheet is up. So there is one more inverter, the SE11400H-US, and I think the uh, I think that I think it's uh, 49 amps 49.5 amps I believe that also is over so you'll be at 61 amps so you need like a 65 amp breaker okay So and we're only allowed to have 50 amps going into this main service panel so that would not be allowed
Okay. So I hope this answers some questions and uh, is not too confusing. I know my other video might have been a little confusing, but um, hopefully this answers. If you can do a line, if you need to do a line side tap, you'd have to be over this 50 amps for your output of your inverter. Okay. Now there, let's say instead of this, let's say a 200 amp panel. Okay. Can we use this on a 200 amp service panel, which is very common, okay? So instead of that main circuit breaker being 100 amps, say it's 200 amp main circuit breaker, and you have a 200 amp bus bar rating, okay? So the bus bar is rated 200, and that main circuit breaker up there is rated 200, okay? So the 120% rule is 200 amps times 120% of that bus bar, which is 240 amps, okay? Minus our 200 amp circuit breaker, you're left with 40 amps for PV, okay? Oh, that's horrible. For PV, let's just do 40 amps. You're allowed 40 amps of PV. Well, we already, let's see. So, we already said that this, we already said that this inverter kicks out 15.63 amps with the safety factor. So, we would, we would definitely be able to use this inverter without having to do a line side tap of these lines coming in from the street. Okay, so this would equal a 20 amp PV breaker again, okay? So, but we're allowed to use up to 40 amps for our PV in a 200 amp rated bus and a 200 amp rated main circuit breaker, okay? Sometimes to avoid, you want to avoid the line side tap as much as you can. So, one other way of getting more uh, amps for your PV is to derate this main circuit breaker. So change out that main circuit breaker to 175 amps. Oh, 175 amps, okay? If you go below 175 amps, the city will probably red flag you, say you go to 150 amps. Sometimes I've seen this done where you change out just that main circuit breaker instead of having to do a line side tap to 150 amps. It's called a derate. You are derating that main circuit breaker in order to get more for solar. So say you were to derate to 150 amps. So instead of 240, your this would be instead of 200, this would be 150. So 240 minus 150, you'd be allowed up to 90 amps for solar okay this is a little trick that people do in order to uh, get more out of the main service panel or to m put more solar on their home without having to do a line side tap a line side tap should be the last resort but um, I would say don't derate to 150 derate the most to 175 amps otherwise the cities will red flag you and uh, make you do electrical load calculations signed by an electrical engineer, um, which is extra effort and costs more money. So uh, currently, you're okay with the 20, 20 uh, amp solar breaker for this inverter on a normal, on your given 125 amp bus and 100 amp circuit breaker. Okay, I hope this answers your question. And have a great day.